Hi and welcome to my newsletter, my Good Vibrations podcast, if you will. We're in June, but in reflection for the month of May. And it was just a really unusual month. Lots of milestones met in the month of May with Michael and I um, celebrating our 39th wedding anniversary. And that sort of gave us pause for thought. Where have we been in over the last 39 years? What have we done? What has our journey consisted of? And that whole aspect of time, you know, how relevant is it? And we think of time very laterally and literally, but we need to think of it as a more expanded, all-encompassing thing. Um, so, yes, it was... A really interesting month, I have to say. And one of the things that I really became aware of is how I get really easily distracted in the digital world, but I also get distracted at home. So I'll, let's say I'm doing some housework, I'll start in one room, go to the next room, and suddenly I'm not doing the housework, I'm actually tidying out cupboards or reorganising the linen closet or doing something that is off plan. So I get really distracted and I go down that rabbit hole, as I call it, where one thing gets to the next thing, leads to the next thing, and suddenly I'm just doing something completely different. But with the digital world, it's really easy to get pulled in and sucked in to that digital uh, framework and you start on one thing and suddenly you're off on a completely different tangent because of all the links and the you may like this and all of that process that just sort of sucks you in and all the algorithms that are out there that are watching what we're doing, providing us, feeding us with product that we just happen to come along and, and find it and we've clicked on it and suddenly we're bombarded by similar stories or similar clips or similar music or all of that process. And I find the digital world quite overwhelming at times, mainly because I don't really understand what it is. I do understand what it is, but I don't understand how it, the mechanism of it in the background and that spider's web of just how vast that spider's web actually is once you start to delve into that process. So one of the things that um, came to me in, I think, sort of April and then into me, I did some action around this thought was how people consume digital product. And I'm still stuck in the old, for those of you who have my psychic development book, it has a CD with meditations on it. So that's my mind frame is a CD. Even on iTunes, I will buy an album. I don't stream an album. So I'm, I'm in that process of moving from my 1980s, 1990s and 2000 framework, mind framework into well, what is relevant now and how do people consume products and how do I get my product out there to the wider audience. Obviously, Nathan is a child of the 1990s, but he is completely au fait with the digital world and in his best way, tried very hard to convert me into that whole process. But it's taken me a while and I'm getting there. So my project, my thought process was to get my uh, meditations on streaming platforms. And so that's the end goal. But the starting point is really quite convoluted. Um, and so I have launched just one. I'm just trialing one meditation on a streaming platform, which is the main hub. And the main hub then pushes out my meditation into all of the other streaming platforms. And that's where I am finding it quite overwhelming. It's just it's just enormous 
in terms of royalties and rights and copyright and everything else that goes along with that. The end goal is there and it's so simple and it looks so simple. But actually the process of going from A to B is just this spider's web of lots of things that you have to do that then ensure that, you know, you are paid for your royalties and and you have your goods under your name. And I think it's that digital minefield that we live in that it's uh, surface wise it looks so polished and it looks so pristine and it looks so accessible but you've got to be really determined it's i think the digital world has really shown me that you have to have a sense of tenacity and a sense of purpose and a sense of goal to just keep pushing through every single barrier that is put up in front of you. And even sort of just getting on to Insight Timer, their rules and regulations and, and their uh, pro formas, et cetera, it's quite difficult. I've, I know a couple of people who have found it quite challenging to get on to Insight Timer. And, you know, I'm really blessed. I've had about forty-five or 46,000 downloads of my product on there which is phenomenal. And one product in particular, I think we're up to 26,000 downloads. So one meditation in particular has really captivated people's imagination and it's captivated their their sense of sort of enlightenment and finding themselves. And I think that's, that's my end goal. I want to captivate people through my downloadable product. But it's going through that whole digital rabbit hole in the background. The front end looks will look amazing, but the back end, gosh, it's just like spaghetti junction. And so I'm I'm at that point where I'm trying to teach this old dog new tricks and just finding the right people to help me through that process. In using discernment, I've had to use discernment this month in finding the right sound engineer and producer, um, voice coach, had a wonderful connection with a voice coach here in Rolleston, a lovely um, Scottish girl, just lovely just to talk to someone in my own language. I never hear my language. It's You guys always tell me, oh, I love your accent. I don't hear it. And it's not that I talk to another Scottish pa- person. I think, oh, there it is. That's my Scottish accent. So we had a lovely time together just doing the whole vocal coaching etc and again that's down that rabbit hole it's that checking that the techniques are right and the voice is right and the tone is right and the breathing is right so I started off with a vision of oh I'll just stream I'll just stream my meditations Phil that'll be easy that'll be easy and wow the journey has been quite convoluted It's been a little bit frustrating, but it's also really exciting um, because I think my de-stress meditation, which is the most popular one in terms of the business um, bubble meditation, so it's business framed ones. That one, I think, is actually, it should be on Spotify somewhere, so I'm just going to double check that. Um, But it'll be out there on these major platforms, hopefully giving people access to tools that will help them um, find a a part of themselves. Even the de-stress one is the most popular um, work-based meditation, but it's not just a work-based meditation. If you're going through a stressful time, you can just de-stress with that meditation. So there's just lots of things um, and tools that you can use. In my newsletter, I sort of liken the rabbit hole in terms of just pulling that thread on a jumper, that piece of wool in a jumper, and everything just unravels. You see the whole picture. By the time you finish pulling that thread, it's just a pile of wool. That's that's how I feel when I go into my projects at times. When I'm unprepared, I don't have the right knowledge or skill set. It's just like, wow, it, I'm at spaghetti junction here. I'm, I'm right at the very basics. But it's proving to yourself that you have 
the will and the wherefore just to keep going and just to keep pushing through all of those fears. So May has been a month of me, I suppose, just sort of taking that deep breath of just finding that sense of just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, perseverance, I suppose, and not being too diverted by or daunted maybe is a better word daunted by the task at hand because I know if I get one meditation out there then the rest will be easier I just need to do this one first and then I'll I'll know how it's done as it goes along and maybe that's been your journey maybe your journey has been that bigger picture thing needs to get completed but it's how do I how do I achieve that? What are the steps I need to take and how am I going to get there? I think it's incredible that we're in June already. I've never experienced a year that has flown past so quickly. I really haven't. And I think, is that an age thing? Is it just that I'm getting older and time has a different uh, face to it? It means something different. When you get older, I'm not quite sure. But we're into June and it just feels like we've got midsummer or midwinter coming on the 21st, 22nd of June. And then we're moving through wintertime into springtime. So it's just been a really hectic time. And I think people have found that, whether that's that dragon energy for this year, I'm not quite sure, but we're certainly feeling... Um, under pressure or not enough time or as I say we just pull on that thread and everything unravels and we just don't know where to start but we've got to keep going we have to keep going we've got to prove to ourselves that we can do it and I think that's been my key thing my really key thing for the month of June um, May sorry I'd like to thank everyone who watches or participates in this little vlog in my newsletter and I was in the chiropractor doing my self-maintenance with the lovely Tom who puts my spine and my ribs all back into place and a lovely lady, um, I think her name is Kay, a lovely lady came up and said oh are you Phyllis Brown? I went yes I am Phyllis Brown. She said, I love your newsletters. And I thought that was really a remarkable thing um, for someone to physically actually come up and say, I love your newsletter. I do get lovely comments on YouTube and I get really, really amazing emails where people will share, where they'll go, wow, that's what I felt like. So, you know, maybe people out there, maybe some of you have been out there, you've started something and it's just unraveled in front of your eyes and you're like, wow, how am I going to do this? Who is going to help me? How am I going to get through this process? And I think it's it's really humbling, actually. It's really humbling when you guys do email me or you message me or this lovely lady um, coming up and saying, oh, you know, I really love your newsletters that come out. It's, it is humbling. It truly is humbling. So a huge thank you. I did thank her and she'd been in one of my courses quite some time ago, many years ago, actually. And it was just really nice to know that, yes, I'm speaking into the void, but there are people in the void hearing, hearing the message and finding some purpose behind it or finding some relief I think for her it's just like it's so awesome to hear what you're going through and then I think oh yeah I'm going through that as well so that's okay so that was her take from the the little video vlogs and the newsletter if you'd like to join me live so what is happening in the month of June is I have a live talk on guardian angels the link is in the newsletter you're more than welcome to click on that and join um, the team of people the angels the live talks and angels are always really popular especially with um, the north american and south american population and the europeans there's quite a few people booked in on that one already so i'm really looking forward to 
guiding everyone through what your guardian angel is, but then taking everyone on to a meditation and getting that feedback. So that's 11 a.m. New Zealand time on Insight Timer. Just click the link and hopefully you'll be able to see the, the path from there. Digital rabbit hole. <laughs> there it goes. It's right there. Still doing my personal sessions and it's been really interesting what people are coming forward with, with their personal sessions and the type of help that they're looking for. There's a lot of self-maintenance and self-care coming in, which is what I really love. I love when people, I suppose, connect because they want to find aspects of themselves and they want to find that better aspect of themselves. So lots of that going on at the moment, which is just lovely, and it's really interesting that people are at that phase in their life. So the link is there. And I've put the Psychic Development Teacher Training course out. That lady had been on the Psychic Development course, and I have quite a few Psychic Development Teachers out there. If you feel you're at the stage where you're looking for a part-time income, you're really passionate about helping people, inspiring people on their journey and, you know, what it is that they can do, then the Psychic Development course is an amazing course. It's the oldest oldest course that I created. So it's over 20 years old. I've actually taught the course to thousands of students, both here and here in New Zealand, in Australia and in the UK. And we have teachers in Australia and New Zealand who are also teaching the course and continue to teach the course. But if you're someone who is intuitive, you're looking to offer something more to your student base, um, to keep them interested, get them involved in their own self-development, then the Psychic Development course is an amazing course. Going through different tools that we use, commonplace tools like tarot card or oracle card reading, how to use a pendulum, auric reading, ribbon reading is the most popular part of the course, I have to say. People love that aspect of the course. But it just takes your students through and and it sort of really builds that sense of confidence in your students of how to recognise their intuitive gifts. The course includes the student manual, your teacher training manual with all your training notes and videos, lots of videos of me demonstrating the tools, but also me talking you through the course. So you get lots of support and obviously I'm here as that physical person that you can connect with. So if you're looking for something to add to your offering, then it would be great to see you as a teacher on with the Opus Soul community. So I feel, I think that's everything for this particular chat today. I hope that, like myself, um, you're finding your way through the unraveled mess that we're in or the digital rabbit hole that we're that we're sort of finding ourselves trapped in and you're finding your way to that focus point that end point once you get there then you know you've completed something quite amazing and you've learned you've gained skills you've gained new skills on how to do things so it's really cool um, for you to sort of keep going keep focused at the end game that's the key I think Until the next time, take care of yourself and I look forward to hearing from you. So I'll say goodbye for now. Namaste and be good to yourselves. Bye for now.